name's Toby Kane, and I'm the education coordinator at Seed Savers Exchange in Deborah, Iowa. Um, so to save seeds from squash, to save seeds from winter squash, you'll let your squash ripen on the vine, and then you will pick it off the vine when the umble, uh, when the end part of the squash has started to turn brown and, and it breaks off the vine pretty easily. Okay. And then you'll want to cure your squash in a warm place for two weeks and that just helps the seeds fully mature. Um, after that, the seeds are viable and they're ready to, to be harvested for seed production at any time. And winter squash, like this one, you might want to keep in your pantry for three to four months before you use it for baking or, um, or whatnot. And so at any point over the winter, you can cut the squash open and the seeds will be ready to save seeds from. Okay. Um, so to start, you would cut your squash and, and be sure to save seeds from, from squash that don't have any defects and from squash that, that grew pretty normally in the garden. Um, any abnormal squash you wanted to, to just eat and not save seeds from. So you cut your squash open and the squash seeds are ready to save when you are ready to eat that squash. You can see in here that there is, um, it's a, a lot of seeds, but also you have some debris in there. And so what you do is you uh, scrape the seeds out and I would scrape them out into, just onto a, a cookie sheet or a cutting board or something like that. And once you have everything out, um, you can pull apart some of these fibers like you would a pumpkin if you're saving pumpkin seeds. So just try and get as many of the fibers and as many of as much of the debris off as you can. And then once you have all these seeds together, you can take a colander like this one or a sieve. And you can transfer a lot of those seeds in there and then wash them off really well. Okay. Uh, the point of washing them is to, to get a lot of that debris off because when you store seeds, uh, the seeds should be as dry as possible. And if, if there's any of that debris, that debris can hold moisture and that can affect the, uh, the germination of your, of your seeds next spring. It could contaminate the seeds and just make them uh, too, too full of moisture over the winter. So you would wash that with water, get all of this orange pulp out, and uh, as soon as they are, are pretty clean, you'd pour them out onto a coffee filter. Okay. And I don't have a coffee filter here because I used them all sure. yesterday. You'd pour them out onto a coffee filter. Um, you could also pour them off onto a, a glass plate or a ceramic plate. And then you can just spread them around so that they're not touching each other. And so that they're in a single layer. And you'll leave that for about a week, uh, maybe more, in a, in a dry place that's outside of sunlight and that's not, in a very, uh, not very humid. And you want a, a little bit of ventilation, so you can stick it um, on, a, on a countertop next to, maybe not next to a window that has a lot of wind because you'll ha obviously have a lot of, of um, sun as well, but just in a ventilated space. And you'll know that the seeds are ready to be saved when you can crack them in half with your fingers or when you can hit them with a hammer and it shatters. Okay. Um, if, it, if it's kind of squishy you can, and they're pliable, they're not ready to, save, uh, to, to be stored because they're not dry yet. So wait a week or sometimes two weeks depending on uh, the humidity of, of your home. And then when that's all finished, you can pack them up into a paper envelope like this. You can make your own paper envelopes out of magazines or recycled paper, or you can use paper envelopes that you have laying around your house. And be sure to label them. This is called a Thelma Sanders squash. So I would say that a Thelma Sanders squash, I harvested this in 2014, and I harvested it in October of 2014. I would write all of that information on the, um, on the envelope, and I, then I would put those seeds in a, a cold, dark, and dry place over winter. And squash seeds like this will last uh, more than five years if they're stored, if they're stored properly. Very good.